So one of the things uh, that you're able to do with these equations that we've just looked at is you're able to calculate um, entropy and enthalpy from a plot of the equilibrium constant um, versus temperature. Uh, and actually, it's the natural log of the equilibrium constant as a function of temp uh, one over the temperature. And this should kind of look familiar to you. It's very similar to what we did for the Arrhenius plot, but this one's known as the Van Hoff plot. So let me show you how the equation comes about uh, so you understand how, its origins. But it comes from two equations you're already familiar with. You know that delta G is equal to minus RT LNK. And that's KEQ, and this is the delta G of the reaction, but I'm going to leave some of these things off uh, just so it doesn't get too messy. And then um, delta G is also equal to delta H minus T delta S. And what people really do is just equate these two to each other. So what they'll do then is they'll have, for example, minus RT LN k is equal to delta h minus t delta s and then they'll divide both sides by minus rt so we're just going to do this minus rt minus rt i'm just going to distribute it right off like that so the t's will cancel for delta s and the r minus rt's will cancel and what i'll end up with and this is how we rewrite it is It'll be, I'm oh, sorry, it's the problem we're going to do. M minus, um, forgot what I was doing now. Let's see, uh, minus, or sorry, LNK, there we go, is equal to uh, delta H, negative delta H over R times 1 over T uh, minus, delta s or sorry plus delta s over r like that so this is uh, y is equal to mx plus b form so this is my y this is my x this is my b so this is my m so your slope when you graph the data as natural log of the equilibrium constant versus one over absolute temperature your slope will be negative delta h over r and your intercept will be uh, delta s over r okay now that's one way to do it the other way to do it is actually to use this equation and this equation and this is known as the two-point van Hoff equation uh, but, but let me show you really quickly how this works with the graph first so this is the, the question. It says consider the reaction and they give you a reaction and it says they give you the data for temperature and Kp and they want delta H and delta S for the reaction. So I'm just going to show the graph real quick. Um, what I've done is I've taken the temperature and the equilibrium constant and I did 1 over temperature and this is natural log of the equilibrium constant. Let me edit this real quick. Okay, and remember, um, when you do this, that what your slope and your intercept are, right? Your slope is minus delta H over R, and your intercept is going to be uh, delta S over R. So when I look at this, and I, you can see how straight this uh, data comes out to be, I find that the slope is negative 6,092.2, so this is negative delta H over R is equal to negative 6,092.2. Um, and the units for this are in Kelvin because the slope form is, um, these are essentially become unitless for the Y value. And then the X value is 1 over temperature in Kelvin. Um, but this, well, I'll show you here. I'll just write it up. So, so this is in uh, Kelvin. So um, to get delta H, that's just going to be R, and I'm just going to cancel the negatives now. R times uh, 6,092.2 Kelvin. 
So R is again 8.314 joules per mole times Kelvin. And so I'll get for that number 50,815. Three, with, um, I believe, three sig figs in the answer. So, and this is going to be in units of joules per mole or uh, 50.8 kilojoules per mole. Now, for delta S, the slope is 27, or the intercept is 27.136. So, delta S over R is going to be equal to um, 27.136. And the y-axis units, it's unitless. So delta S uh, is equal to R times 